Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna do an RV door makeover. Our friends at Lippert Components have sent us three accessories that are perfect for if you have a dog or you go camping with kids, they're gonna make your life a little easier. And we're gonna go from this door to this. Stay tuned. All right, so the first accessory I want to show you guys is the screenshot. This is going to keep our door closed. So if your kids are like mine and they automatically run out, don't shut the screen door behind them, this is going to shut the screen door for us. So I won't have to yell at them anymore. Yeah, we're going to test that at the end. We'll get the kids out here and test that. That'll be <laughs> funny. So we're taking care of the human babies with the screenshot. We're going to take care of the fur babies with the screen defender. So this will protect Tallulah from punching her paw through our screen in our door. It's made out of powder coated aluminum. It's gonna pop right in and hopefully a pretty easy install. We'll see. We'll show you how to do that. And then finally, our favorite, you saw in the intro where we went from this frosted door with a piece of reflective material, which works good, but it's not exactly that attractive, to the thin shade. And the thin shade is gonna solve both of those problems. It's gonna look really great. I will show it again here in a second, but it's also gonna block the heat or the cold with the shade. And we just spent a weekend with that thin shade we haven't installed this one yet and i think we really like it yeah I think it's so. so it's interesting how weird it is when you've always had a frosted window and you couldn't see out of your door right to being able to see out of your door especially on the campsite side so having an extra window on the campsite side especially with kids that will be awesome let's get this stuff installed okay so the first thing i have to do is take down this piece of reflective material okay and you can see it's just held up by uh velcro there there you go, Brooke. And then I have, I, th I believe it's 16 screws. And the other day when I was installing the other one, I didn't take this one out because the Velcro was blocking it. So probably won't have that problem. Now, I'm gonna zip these screws out, but there are other windows that are just clamped in that similarly to how we're gonna install the thin shade, you don't see screws. You'll have to have little clips that come with the thin shade kit and you're gonna pry them back here and it's gonna release those clips for this window to come open, come out, okay? So it's just sandwiched in there and tightened down and sealed. And so mine is a screw version, but there's also a seamless version with clips on the inside. You're gonna get that hardware in the thin shade. So let me go ahead and zip these screws out. This just pops out, okay, there we go. Now, there's a piece of glass right behind it. You're gonna wanna grab that and pop it out too, okay? Now, Lippert does suggest using two people to do this. Um, I'm doing this by myself. For the install, you're definitely gonna need two people. This, with this way, I've got the door propped up against here, so if it were to fall out, it would just hit the side of the rig, so I'm good. But um, yeah, if your door's not secure, you're gonna need two people to do this. And then on the other side, let's move that camera a little bit, Brooke, so they can see, probably can still see. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna pull that out. It's gonna be a little bit sticky because of the sealant around it, all right? But now we have a complete hole in our door. You can see the door thickness and uh, how it's constructed a little bit, which is cool. I'm gonna go grab a little acetone and clean up this adhesive around the edge stay tuned okay i got just got a little acetone here and i'm just going to put a little bit on a rag and go around the sides and clean up this old adhesive right here i just want a nice fresh seal when i come back with the new thin shade okay let's talk about what's in the kit i've got our uh, i've got us all prepped up ready to go opened up the kit of course we have our piece of tinted tempered glass it's the same tint as the rest of our rig so it's going to match and that's really awesome it's going to look a whole lot better than that uh, than that frosted window then you've got your shade itself uh, we'll show you how to install this in the frame here in just a minute and then you have your frame now you're going to want to make sure that your little secure levers here are on the inside of your door that's how we're going to secure the thin shade the shade itself inside 
the frame. So make sure those are on the inside. You can see the outside is just a clean frame. And then lastly, like I mentioned before, some of you may have uh, the clip style insert for your frame. We've got the screw. This one, these are going to be to help you remove your window if you, uh, if you do have that style of frame. We don't happen to need these for our particular window. Let's get going. What I've done here is I've taken the um, piece of glass or tempered tinted glass and I put it on the exterior frame. We, you see there's a nice seal right there. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's sealed to the glass and then we'll have another seal to the actual frame of the door. This is where you need two people, hence my boss has come along to help me, thank goodness, and uh, she's going to hold this up while I get the other piece of the frame and insert it in. So it's a little bit tricky. I'm pretty handy. I usually do things by myself. This is definitely something you're going to need two people to do. All right, you got that? Mm -hmm. Hold that glass down. Got it. Now, as far as the interior frame, it doesn't matter if you install it this way or this way. It's not going to matter. These, all of these levers to secure our thin shade are going to be the same for both sides, so that's not going to matter. All right, let's see if we can get this on the first take. What is the chances? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Okay, you all right. coming up here. Go ahead and push it in there. Push, it, push your part in here, and I'll make sure it didn't fall this way. So I'm just making sure the glass didn't fall my way. She's lining up everything All right, it's on up. her end, and I'm going to come in here and find my little insert right there. You can kind of see them. Oh, you got to press against. And you hear that sound? That's a really great sign, okay? So now we're just going to go all the way around and lock them in. Holding up against me up there? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay, I think you're good now. I think you can come on down. Okay. You just gotta yep. push the top. I just gotta push the top in. Yep. And it just I just take it from the bottom and just kind of sandwich it up to the top. Alright. Okay, how did you go change battery packs? We're back. So you saw us clip it in. We've got it clipped all the way around. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go around it a few times and see if I can't get a few more clicks here and there. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. But give it a good press to make sure that, see that? I got an extra click right there. So make sure to give it a good press all the way around. Looks like we're good. Let's install the shade part. Okay, so on the thin shade, it comes packaged a little funky, but um, it's not a big deal. It's just kind of reverse. So make sure you're installing your track and this track on the exterior of the, the window, okay? So what we're going to do, and also make sure this little lip, your pull handle, is not touching the window. I just tried to do it that way. I was like, the other one went in so easy. Why is this not going in? And then I realized, oh yeah, you dummy. You got it flipped around. So, all right, let's get it up here. I've got these little levers pulled open. All right, we're gonna push it in at a 45 degree angle. Just like that. And then it's gonna come flush. And then we're gonna lock those in. Lock, lock. And then we come down here. And we're good. That'll tighten up once I get this one going. Make sure that there's a little notch for the string to go through. Make sure the string is through that notch on each side of this one, okay? So make sure you got that in there. Pop it in there and in here. Clip and clip. And there we go. All set. So bring it up. If you feel privacy, bring it right back down. This is a great mod. I'm going to run a small bead of silicone along the top just to be safe and uh, this will be done. Those of you worried about privacy, Brooke is actually in there waving at you right now. <laughs> it works pretty good. Awesome. So I've unboxed the screenshot. We've got a couple of pieces here to get started. Uh, first we've got each end. You'll notice uh, one end is already on the screenshot. And this little screw is going to face down once we've, we're going to put the screenshot here. This little screw is going to face down. So you want this side to look similar, all right? So you can see here how they're going to look very similar there. I'm going to thread this pull right through that, just like that, okay? And then we're going to kind of come in at an angle a little bit. 
and slide it on up there. Okay, so we're going to be ready to go. The next thing we'll have to do, we've got a couple of uh, sheet screws. We're going to screw in right here to hold this up. And then this is going to wrap around here and we're going to attach it there. And that'll be it. Let's get started. Okay, so if you're by yourself, the screenshot's just going to kind of slide up and down just like that. So I'm going to bring it all the way to the top. And you've got two channels in your door here. And I'm going to screw this into the inside channel to hold it. All right. So there's that side right there. All right. We're all flush against here. You can't see that, but it's, it's looking good. Now, you're going to need a square bit. If you own an RV, you definitely know you need one of these square bits. Uh, you're going to need a square bit and a Phillips head. Let me get this other side right quick. All right. Our next step, we have to secure this pull here to the inside of the door frame. All right, so Lipper Components tells us to come in one half of an inch from the door frame. There we go. Now, they give you a self-tapping screw, but I'm going to screw a little pilot hole here. I'm going to use a 564th bit. Check it out. Yeah. All right, so let's see if I can get this in the first take. I'm going to give myself a good bit of slack here. All right. Get that lined up pretty close, and let's see what we got. Oh, other way. All right, I think we're set. Let's see how it works. Okay, friends. So we have some special guests here: Lippert Components certified, well, kinda, screen door testers, Townley and Beckett. Townley, how old are you? Seven. Beckett, how old are you? Four. I can't believe he's being quiet. It never happens. Okay, so you guys are going to go inside, pretend like you get a juicy, and then come on back out. Let's see what happens. All right? Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, that's a good sign. I didn't know. Come on out. All right, here we go. Come on out, town. All right. It worked. Tanley, did you try to close that? Did it close itself? All right, looking good. All right, next up on our RV door renovation, we have the screen defender. So we have this to protect this. All right, we did the screenshot first because we're gonna have to measure for the screen defender. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have the proper size door, this thing actually just literally pops in like that and you're done. But we have a little gap here. So I've got to measure that and then lipper components includes a gap filler here. Let's get going on that. So let's see what we've got. Now, I've got a measure to the bottom of the screenshot, not the H bar. So if you don't have a screenshot, you're gonna to measure to the bottom of the H bar. This is an H. And, but if you have a screenshot, measure to the bottom of that. And I have right at two and a half inches. So Lipper's hooking you up. If your gap here is less than two inches, you're gonna use the short gap fillers where ours is more than that, so we don't need those, we're gonna use what they call the standard. Okay, so your standard gap fillers are gonna be about four inches worth of gap covered. We only need about two and a half, so I'm gonna slide this down an inch and a half or so, and give it a measure. I'm at two and three quarters, so let's come down a little bit further. Drop it in right there. Two and a half, let's slide it in. Okay, so you'll notice a little uh, protrusion here on each side that's gonna fit in the doorway here. And it's pretty tight fit. I'm just gonna slide it down. And now we're ready to install the screenshot. All right, we got our gap closed up here. We're going to angle this in, inside channel again. The gap filler goes in the inside channel too, by the way. And I'm going to set myself down into the gap filler. And I'm going to put that in. I'm going to clear that. And we're all set. It looks good, Mom. I like it. See if <laughs> Bullet can't get out now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just some final thoughts on what we did today, Brooke. Well, huge thank you to Liberate Components for providing these upgrades to our door. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our makeover because we are really excited. I'm especially excited about having the new window. Uh, I think yeah. it's going to uh, be great to see out onto our campsite. 
and also to have a shade that's functional so it can keep out the sunshine and we close our blinds at night so it'll be great to have that really easy um, shade to close and, yeah. and uh, be hopefully cool. it'll be good and dark in the morning. Well it's hilarious because we've had these frosted windows on here for over three years and I don't know probably what 70 camping trips maybe. Mm -hmm. So the first one I installed the other one over this past weekend just to look out of it and see it's weird, but in a really good way. Yeah. So I thought it was really fun. Yeah, and great. the shade is almost a blackout shade, so it's, it's cool. And it's pretty easy to install. I, mean, I think was, it was very easy. You do need two people, but I thought it was pretty easy. Uh, I'm actually really excited about this screen defender here. Tallulah is our, she's a, a rescue. She's a Boykin Spaniel mix. I think she got a little Aussie Shepherd in there. And she's a go-getter. So when she sees a squirrel or uh, the leash or <laughs> another human being, another dog, she is worked up and ready to go. I'm surprised she hasn't punched this thing out yet. Yes. So I think we're really pushing our luck there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm happy to have this. And then obviously the screenshot, if you got kids, our kids were born in the barn. I don't know about yours. But uh, I know maybe y'all heard that saying. But um, yeah, they don't. They always leave the door open, so that'll come in handy as well. And Brooke hates mosquitoes. I hate mosquitoes. So. Who doesn't? I'm fine. Yeah. All right. So we'll link all this stuff in the description box below. Again, again, thank you to Lipper Components, yep. and I hope you find this useful. Thanks. Bye bye. See ya.